Turbulent Switch from Zenclack just might be my new favorite tactile switch. I don't say that lightly, but everything appeals to me in a culmination of what I personally enjoy in a hyper tactile. Now, I don't want to hype it up too much because at the end of the day, everything in this hobby comes down to the P word. Please press the like button. <laughs> No, but seriously, we all know the word that's the bane of the gatekeeping chads over at r slash custom keyboards, preference. So let's talk about why I can't get enough of these switches. It's got a very old school PA66 nylon housing, but a very meta 13.9 millimeter long, long pole palm stem and a 22 millimeter long 63.5 gram spring. It doesn't specify whether that's bottom out or actuation. So let's take a look. So that's 62.5 already. I guess the tech, the force required to overcome the tactile bump. It is a pretty big bump. It's like 71. So interestingly, it took over 70 grams of force to overcome the tactile bump, which kind of shows you how big the bump really is. That being said, I'll reach out to Zenclack to see whether the 63.5 grams is actuation or bottom out, and I'll let you know in the comments below. Now let's take a listen to these switches stock on my new tester board, the Vertex Arc 60 with the alu plate and only plate foam added. Keycaps are GMK Metropolis round two. Here we go. I really enjoy the tactility on these switches, which is very pronounced with no pre-travel, a large tactile bump, and what feels like roughly half a millimeter of post-travel before bottom out. But in actual typing, the large tactile bump with a long spring makes the switch feel very similar to a Zyko if you've tried those before. I have to say that the stock experience is totally fine, with no crap sounds to speak of, and overall I've been very impressed with Mayroon's stock experience. However, even from the loose switch in hand, it's really clear that these switches will absolutely slap with some lube. So let's take a look. Take a listen after with their lube with Crytox 205G0. Now as a caveat, I normally wouldn't use a thick lube like 205G0 on tactiles, but mine is really runny and it's got a consistently, and it's got a consistency very similar to GPL 105. So I felt okay using it uh, on these switches. Rest in peace, Dino Keys. Here we go. So once again, everything in this hobby comes down to preference. But to me, I enjoy the lube nylon housing combined with a long pull stem and the pretty heavy tactility. These remind me of the KNC green jackets and I really need to get around to trying the green jacket tactiles, but I'm a big fan of the overall sound signature and how they feel. So now we need to talk about the value proposition because these are bringing some serious heat for their retail price of $4 for, what the f they come in a 10 pack, which would make these 40 cents per switch. Plus you can get another 5% off when you use code maker at checkout, making these only 38 cents per switch. That's too cheap. I mean, these switches just broke my value scale because these would be a great contender at 60 cents per switch. At 40 cents a switch, these are a no brainer with a caveat. Hyper tactiles aren't for everybody. And I have to admit that even for me, I saw a really steep drop off in words per minute after about 20 minutes of typing. Now there are ways to tame the tactility like lubing the legs or using a shorter spring. But in my personal opinion, you won't really buy these switches unless you're looking for a very tactile experience. Although I would recommend you pick up a 10 pack to try for yourself. And if you don't like them, it'll only cost you a Big Mac. Before we go, take a listen to today's build, which definitely costs way more than a Mac pack. We're looking at the Keycolt 265 in powdered gray with an alu plate. Keycaps are GMK Honeywell. Here we go. So it seems almost like a crime to put switches that are this cheap in a board that normally sells for the price of your unborn child. But I really love the sound and feel in the key cult. I mean, listen to that backspace. You can buy them at Zenclack, where they had an in-stock sale at 45 cents a switch that sold out in like five minutes, but they'll be on pre-order until early to mid-February for that 40 cent per switch price, so I highly recommend you go pick some up. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Check out some more keyboard content here. I'm MakerMods, and I'll catch you in the next video.